Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. Look, there's a reason I haven't really talked movies as much. The space has just gotten so ugly. Fans are annoying. The content you have to put out is sort of aggressive. And there's all these facets of community that I just feel like are doing rage clicks to just sort of complain about things. And today I was shared this video that I want to break down by Ryan Kinnell from RK Out. Look, he and I aren't haven't always had the nicest of times. Full disclosure. He's called me out numerous times. I'm trying not to have a beef with this guy. I don't want to beef with this guy, but Ryan, I don't like what you said. And I'm going to explain why, but I also wanted to bring in Jody of Jody's Corner and Vito uh, because it's just a bigger issue that I just wanted to address. Am I crazy here? Uh, I know he's using this outrage to make more subscribers and more money, and he is succeeding in that, but that's sort of what these guys tend to do. And look, it is what it is, but I, I wanted to play this clip specifically, and I want to get your opinion, Jody. Uh, and Vito, I know you got thoughts on this as well. Here's why Ryan was trending, I guess, yesterday on Twitter. Let's let's play the clip. This is, this is a piece from his Batman review. But there were only a couple good people in this, in this movie. Uh, you had Bruce Wayne, Batman, and you had Alfred. Those are the only two good white people. Um, the rest of the, really, the three other so. major players that I would consider, like, overall, like, moral good people were, you know, you had Jim Gordon, who's black in this. You had Catwoman, who's not white in this. And then you had the mayor, who's a black woman. Again, very much on the nose for current day Hollywood. Did not like that. Took a but. Did not like that. Okay, so uh, why is this being brought up? Obviously, everybody then labeled him as racist and all these things. Here, he, I, I think it's just a... He's trying to talk about identity project politics. He's going to explain that. I don't know why casting black and white people now is becoming identity politics. I want to talk more about why I think it's frustrating. But here's Ryan double downing and sort of justifying and calling everybody low IQ for not under processing the information. Here, here's the clip of his justification for it all. Obviously, what I'm talking about in this was a section where I talked about identity politics in this movie. No mention of the fact that I liked the movie. No mention of the fact that I gave it an 8 out of a 10. No mention of the fact that I said I thought it was really good. Just, well, he didn't like the fact that there were more good black people than good white people. And yeah. anyone with an IQ above room temperature could understand that what I'm talking about here is not simply, well, there were more good black people than good white people, so I didn't like it. It was talking about the fact that there were every other that white person, matter. every single white person in this movie was portrayed as evil. Every except living white person in this movie was portrayed <laughs> as an evil piece of garbage, except for Batman and Alfred. <laughs> except for the two <laughs> biggest characters who have the moral compass except of the, the whole movie. Characters. Except for the main characters, guys. <laughs> Everybody else. That's what the statement's talking about. That's what I'm trying to get oh, across. Oh, is the that clarity. Even though I didn't ruin the movie for me, you can't get away from that agenda in Hollywood right now. That's obvious. We all oh understand and know that. So the agenda, Jody, that look, enough of this, guys. Stop putting black people in good roles. It's identity politics. It's a Hollywood agenda. I Yes, yeah, sure, Batman and, and Alfred are the good white guys, but why can't we have more good white guys in movies, Jody? We can't have bad black people in movies anymore. It's all Hollywood identity politics. I, I got to get your thoughts and reactions to this. When you see this, what, what, do, you, what do you think? I see a man straight fresh off graduating from clan school. That's what I see. <laughs> when I look into, he got the beady white double eyes in this clip, bro. I look at this clip and it reminds me of a movie. There's a movie called The Perfect Getaway. And in the movie, there's this strung out white dude who's spazzing and he's got these shark eyes of straight pure evil. And when I look at this used Q's tip, that's exactly what I see. A straight racist. Then when he opens his mouth, it just confirms that. What the heck does the color of the characters have to do with this review? If you're going to review a film, you review the film. He's adding the fact that there wasn't enough white people who were do-gooders. If you have an agenda and you think that there's an agenda from a film where they're out to make white people look bad, they won't put good white people in it. <laughs> right. How are you going to say, oh, there's an agenda to make white people look like evil people besides Batman and, you know, uh, Alfred? Alfred. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Bes Bro, miss me with this bullshit. I know the truth of what's going on here. I know exactly why he's, first of all, I'm just, this is a racist man here. 
you don't like black people. And that's, you know what? This is America. This shit built on racism. So, hey, I know a lot of people like that exist. He's trash. But the reason why I know he's here doing this and hating on this movie, I recognize that face. Where have I seen that face before? Andy, I think I saw him in a live stream with Zack Snyder. <laughs> yes, right here. Yeah. Hey, yep. there he is. Hey, yep. that's the same used Q-tip. Yep. Hey, bro. He's, he's part, of, he's part of Geeks and Gamers. Do you want, do you want, to, play, want me to play the clip? The, on, our, on our um, donation page, we still have the Geeks and Gamers logo. I just want to say that I really, um, we talked about this, and, you know, we're really not affiliated with Geeks and Gamers as far as I'm concerned. And I really just want to make that clear. And I also want to just say, um, you know, in, in light of recent events, I think we really, you know, if Justice League teaches us anything, it's about coming together. And we, there's no room for hate. And uh, oh, I just yeah. think that it's important. It's an important message. And of course, as you know, as um, the father of uh, Asian children, it's look really up there quiet. close to home for me. And <laughs> look at them up I there just, in the corner, sad know, and really quiet. Put that out there that we all, you know, there's no room for hate. And now, look, I like to cover all sides. Geeks and Gamers says, you know, this was two separate statements. He was talking about the crimes at the time. He wasn't talking about the hate. There's been a lot of spe speculation. A lot of people have stepped forward in defense of Geeks and Gamers to say they aren't racist. I, I want to put it all out there. You can go make up your own decisions, guys. But, you know, there is a second side to it. But, Jody, your opinion on this. As it, I, I do want to add the irony of after he did this, right, but before he did this, rather, he was a pretty big Zack Look at Snyder his channel. <laughs> Look at his channel. Yeah. Snyder cult. He had he a Snyder cult. Loved he Snyder loved the Snyder this. cut. Look he was. That. He was. Uh, and the views weren't as. They were slowly going, but he he was on that train, baby. God he was on damn. that train, baby. And then Zack Snyder came into the stream, disrespected you, your crew, and everywhere you represent and where you from, and you sat back right there live and let him do it. Not just you, but everybody there. But you should have said something. And I heard that I heard that he's turned a new leaf and he's now he's going against Snyder. I forget Snyder, of course, after he destroyed your whole world, bro. Now that's exactly why you're here with a, with negative thoughts on Batman. You don't want the new DC films to do good. You don't want this new Batman to be good because you're definitely a Snyderverse loving person. You want to bring back you want to restore the Snyderverse. That's your agenda that people don't probably see. I see what time it is, though. But I got some other things that I got to say, too. Yeah, well, I mean, I, 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 that's why I wanted to bring in Vito, too, because, Vito, I know they don't like you, and uh, they're, they're, I'm mean, going to get all this shit for even making this video, I'm sure, but whatever. It's news. They, they st I thought you guys like when we talk about this because you get more clicks. Yeah, I mean, they, they want the drama, <laughs> and it benefits them, so how can they complain? They're going to make a million videos about Yeah, this, but I wanted to bring up because, look, we are ever, we're all accused of being grifters, right? But there's right. something really interesting about this this potential alleged grift, right? Because when I see this happen, right, he's accused of being racist. He he leans into it. He makes a ton of videos. His buddy Jeremy is out there. Or sorry, sort of defending it. And then they always have. Uh, sorry, you guys can't see. They bring in Eric July. I don't know if you're if you know him, Jody, but terrible uh, rapper. Yeah, I, I like some of his takes. <laughs> I don't like some of his other takes. I don't really know the guy. I don't watch him as regular. But he's always there to defend him, and he's mm. black, right? And so. Jeremy and Ryan use it all the time as their defense. Guys, we're not racist because Eric's nah, here kicking all the white nah. leftists around, and it's all part of the same. What he say? Let me see what he said. What he say? What he say? Yeah, I mean he's, Twitter, he's, he's offensive. He's, they're not co-host Batman review. These crackheads are always looking for a dragon to slay around every corner because they're desperate here. Come on, my nigga, stop with this bullshit you're doing, dog. He said some racist shit on his video, and you cap it for him. Man, miss me with that bullshit you talk about. That's your homie. I get it. You should come out here and be like, yeah, my homie said some foul shit, but I know him. I can vouch for him. He ain't a racist. You coming at this shit wrong by calling us crackheads or calling this motherfucker out for being racist and saying some racist bullshit? Come on, dog. You out of, you left field out of there, bro. Right, and they get it's so hung look. up on the fact it's like, well, he gave the movie an 8 out of 10. Like, that's not what it's we're not complaining about, about. It is not about the movie. It's about <laughs> yeah. there being a racist man getting mad that there's too many good black people in a movie. Do you hear that shit? He has an issue that there's too many good black characters in this movie. Bro, you can't defend that shit. Here's the thing about the geeks and gamers method of media criticism is that it is very shallow. It is, uh, I don't think these guys understand movies. I don't think they understand writing movies or characters. 
I don't go into a movie and sit down and go, well, I'm going to see how many good white people there are, how many good black people, how many bad white people, how many bad black people. And they're gosh you, you don't bring a notepad be... and keep a calculation no. of every movie, you know? <laughs> No, and I also don't get upset when I go, oh, that's interesting. Commissioner Gordon's black. Well, I've seen a million white Commissioner Gordons. Maybe this will be a different take. Right. I mean, he's talking about characters like the mayor of the city, like. Ooh, I, I haven't seen Batman. Is this a major character in the movie that we really need to be concerned no. with what race the mayor is? Didn't None of it phased me. Yeah, so and he's he's literally telling me, well, the movie would have been better if the mayor was white. Uh, and he's also telling me, you know, there's just not enough good white people, even though the star of the movie and his, his butler sidekick are, are white people. Uh, th th these people are living in a bizarre world where when they see a black character... I'm not going to say they're racist, but I do think they're racially insensitive that they immediately want to pick it apart for some reason. For some, They can't just see a black character and go, okay, that character's black, that character's white, this is a good story. For some reason, there's something about seeing a black person on screen that they go, oh, I don't know about this. Something about this makes me uncomfortable. And they come up with these bizarre justifications of, well, there weren't enough uh, evil uh, black people on the other side. This, this, filmmakers are not writing movies sitting down. Would you want people to sit down with a notepad and plan out their casting and say, oh, we don't have enough. You know, we need an evil Mexican guy. We need an evil Asian guy. <laughs> no. You know, we need a good Asian guy. We need a good Mexican like, This is not how you write a story. Well, and the fact I, this just to clarify, I, I think is I, I, suspect, I suspect his argument is, and I, this is what I, from what I'm gathering from his defense, right, that Hollywood has a identity politics issue where we can't have mean black characters. We have to support Correct. the black community right now. I agree. And any role they do has to be no. positive. And that's sort of the, the excuse I think he's using here. And could that be true to an extent? Could some yes, producers I agree. be afraid? There's an agenda in Hollywood to make black people give them more equal opportunity in Hollywood right now. That's popping right now ever since the death but we've of had, And we've had black villains. I mean, we had Electro in uh, Spider-Man. I mean, there are black. It's not like oh, if one movie doesn't have an equal racial divide i mean it's not a hollywood trend we have black people in good roles bad roles uh, same for every race and ethnicity so this but is nowhere a, near a enough though flawed, i mean well, that, but that's what i was i wanted community. your opinion joey because it's like look I, so okay i hear what there's all right the argument of identity politics hollywood is being extra careful they don't want to put the right. bad guy as the black guy necessarily right they're trying to be woke or whatever you want to call it but Part of me is like, what's so what if they're doing that right now? There's definitely a a a, a there was a tipped scale for a very long time where every Correct. bad guy was black and everything was Correct. going on. Correct. And the reality is like that's why people are fighting for this. So why is it such a problem for you that yeah. right now it's tipped the other way a little bit? At some point it's gonna level out. At some point, I imagine we're going to get to a point where we just stop worrying about it because we've equalized, and hopefully, right? That's our goal. We all want to have equal, you know, footing. People are terrified of that. But, but yeah, but they, but that's the reality, and so that's why we're annoyed. The fact that you're counting who's black and white shows yeah. your, you know, it, to me is what the issue is. Why are we watching movies counting the color of the people's skin? There are, there's a blatant line in this movie. I will say, there's a blatant line of Selena Kyle's that you could argue was woke. To, I, I, I don't want to spoil that's things. If you want that's to go off on thing. that tangent, fine. But to that's say that thing. this is your issue, which, Ryan, it was part of your friggin' review. Don't deflect and distract. Oh, well, I said it was a good review. You, you made a point to point out the black and white characters, yada, 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 and people Clancy. didn't like it. You shouldn't be canceled. I'm not trying to cancel you. I'm so sick of people exploiting this now, Ryan. You know you'll never get canceled. You're reveling in this. You're re that's part of the grift. We're uh, attacking the Geeks and Gamers fans. We hate the fans is what they're going to say. Right, and it's like, it's just the reality is I think you said something stupid, and the fact that you Should can't see that to me truth. is the problem. But go ahead, Jody, I think go you ahead. told the truth that you don't like black people. That's what I think because I see I'm looking at the video, bro. I don't think he, there's too he many. Likes all black of the, people, he just doesn't want too many of them, Jody. <laughs> I, I think there's too many good black people in this, and I don't like it, bro. I'm sorry. There's no way to cut, slice, edit, chop. It is what it is. This and you have Batman. Out. You have a, the, a white character is the center of the movie. He's the heart of the movie. How no, 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 Vito. The, there are no white good people. white characters in this movie except for except Batman and for Alfred. Batman and Alfred. How can you say this is an anti-white movie when it stars a white man uh, saving people and stopping crime? This is insanity. Like, if anything, when I see that the, the mayor is black, I'm like, all right, well, that rings true to today. 
right? It's like, okay, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's popular I, right now. Like, Black Lives realistic. Matter. Like, they're they're playing what the reality of the world is. And what's... Bruh, what's that what's, woman is mixed race. Either the mom or the dad's going to be black. We, one of these parents got to be black. It's Gordon. So now we know that the mom is probably Latina or some shit like that. Because bad girl's tied to this movie. This all Matt Reeves universe extended shit. And that's the problem. I don't want to deviate from what this is about. Yeah, you're racist for sure. I see what time it is. I'm freaking know him when I see him, especially when I see him and I hear him. But bro, Snyder sat up there. Yo, God, Zack Snyder sat up there and said, <laughs> "See, there's no room for hate." I'm he said, right. I have, I'm, he said, I'm I have Jack, Asian Jody, children. I think that might have been fake. There's another take here, Jody, where he was actually just playing that card at the time because it was the the, the cool thing to do, right? There's a mm. potential there where he was playing that and his true colors were revealed when Zach called him out. And he's like, well, F that guy never liked him anyway. I was just doing this for clicks. Like, th that is another angle of this potentially where, I, look, they, they, a lot of these people will shift there. And when I cover stuff, it wasn't that I was shifting to what was what I, you know, to, to, to change what I want, but you are trying to like find the trends. But I noticed in the Zack Snyder thing, you and I never changed our tune on that. Nope. So many people have come around and are now calling out what it is to the, the garbage, yep. which you and I, it was a rough road to have it back then, but we, we stood against the ball yep. first. And a lot of them have come around, including Mr. Cannell, who didn't, who, who came at me literally the week before Snyder came at him. I made fun of Ryan. And then Zach, but the, look the irony took, was amazing. It took the very God he worships to say, I ain't effing with you before he <laughs> turned around. Yeah, but I wonder if it really, when you Bro. say, because it's like, I wonder if they really even cared about it in the first place. I think, doing it the way what do you think, Vito? It, the way I you have all these really videos, he, yeah, I'm with I Vito. Think he, he, I think he loved Snyder. He was like, that was not So fair. that hurt his heart. He, he, he was got probably saying, crushed. I can't believe they pushed out such a brave white man. Imagine, great bro, these, imagine these Catholics, Christians, Muslims, Hindus. Imagine if they God showed up and said, I don't like you. They'd be throwing themselves over a goddamn cliff. Imagine all of this. This is a faith for these motherfuckers, bro. He worked. Look at this shit. Look at all these videos, bro. This is what it's about. He was going to make a negative review or he was going to talk. He was going to find something that he didn't like about this Batman movie simply because he's Snyder Cole. Secondly, I watched Jeremy's review of this shit. I'd be in a line with the way he sees the movies because his review mirrors mine. Mine came out first. But still. I agree with what Jeremy said. He critiqued the bitch, just like I critiqued the bitch. I Jeremy got issues from with Geeks the Batman. And gamers, yes. Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers. I critiqued yeah. that shit too. Problem is, I'm gonna keep it a thousand. Andy, there was a time where you collaborated with Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers back in the early days, and a lot of his community subscribed to your channel. And it was right around that time where I was a guest on your channel a lot. We were partnering up doing videos. And when that Geeks and Gamers community came over to Popcorn Planet, they were some of the most vile, racist, meanest motherfuckers in existence, bro. I said, where these motherfuckers come from? That's when Andy Popcorn Planet did a collab with Geeks and Gamers. So I'm going to say it. I think most of Geeks and Gamers motherfucking viewers, middle America motherfuckers, what, man? Y'all some racists, nigga. <laughs> but... It's not popular to say. This is what I think based off real life experience of hearing y'all call me all type of nasty racist shit. Andy's community is tight now. He doing his freaking uh, celebrity shit and got women all up in there being nice and waving and kissing. Uh, that shit is tight. <laughs> but a year and a half ago, after he collabed toxic. with Jesus Game, that shit was toxic as toxic. shit. And especially being the fat, black, loud mouth bearded nigga on his channel, they were hating me. Hating me, bro. And so that's how I feel, bro. Not all the Geeks and Gamers viewers are racist, but there's a nice chunk of them in there that don't like black people, and he's capping to them, bro. They yeah, know. I, look, I appreciate, and Jody says what he, what he wants. I do. I, I don't know if they're racist. I, you're allowed to say that you think they are. I'm not here calling them racist. I think they're being ignorant, personally. And But with, what, I, what I will agree with you on is, regardless of that issue or, or just calling out the Geeks and Gamers community, which I don't really want to call out any of these communities directly, I do think there is a toxic divide in just movie criticism in general. Like, we, it, we're not, and to take the isms out of it, we have to have such... You, why didn't you like this movie? Or why didn't you hate this movie? It's like, it's become such a 
unfun thing to cover to be perfectly blunt like I, that's part of the reason i'm grateful i found another venue that i like because I, i'll put a post a review that i like a movie and they're like you're full of shit andy how could you like nerds are whack nerds are whack that's yeah, why it's just like nerds everybody in this community has become so divisive and aggressive and angry and see, it's just not appealing anymore and so i, I think yeah. you know th there is definitely a lot of that happening and uh when you when you get a criticism that like why are you bringing up the skin tone why is that what's that have to do and your reaction is to triple down and own it yeah, you're going to appeal to a base that maybe isn't the best base that you should be appealing to, in my opinion, but you don't care. You'll appeal you to anybody to get those views. And you start saying stuff that gets you in trouble on Twitter, rightfully so. What you said sounds moronic. You should just own up to it and say, I didn't state that in a very good way. And in further reflection, why do I care that the mayor of Batman is black? It has no bearing on the story. That character was barely in the movie. Yeah, she right. said she super well, boring character. Did is Selena Kyle's line. That shit was left field. I'm like, why did you say that? That was definitely some bullshit, but that was right. it. But it's still a movie about a white man saving the day, so I, I don't see how you can say this is woke or an issue or whatever else. And ultimately, I, I see these movie reviewers, and the only things they can talk about is identity politics, it's woke, it's toxic feminism, whatever else. And I go, can you talk about the themes, the costumes, the action? These guys cannot review movies. The only thing they can do is repeat the exact same talking points in every review, and they say, well, that's just woke Hollywood, and they're pushing an agenda. And frankly, it's become tired. They say it about every single movie. Yes, sometimes Hollywood goes too far. That white privilege line in Batman might go a little too far. But ultimately, th this has become insane, the way they talk about every single media project. It's not nearly as much of a, a problem as they seem to claim it is. Well, and I want to I give you I'm props. I'm walking down to Ali Andy, and I see that picture, I'm turning the other way. Well, Especially I'm, in the South. I was going to say, Vito, I, 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 I owe Vito an apology. I have fully come around. Bounding into comics is just rage bait awfulness. Sorry, I'm not a fan. I lost my mind when you I, had him on your channel. I, I was, feel like, so and I didn't know. I didn't know because sometimes yeah, I see, it's but fine. they are out was, there literally the creating way. headlines for these channels. They are finding topics yes. that aren't even accurate. They're spinning it in a way just to create more outrage, to create rah, rage, rage, rage. It's all Twitter, YouTube. They it's say all, insane it's all we, we approve, and it's so sad and frustrating, and I don't know why. And, and, and I, Bound into Comics, I've just seen it now week after week constantly being the source of these things and i'm like what 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 why what is going on and it, it makes sense there's definitely some sort of there was Incredible a recent story i was just end on and i'm going to get you to your final thoughts there was a recent story that i saw some youtubers and and everybody covering about this movie pixar's turning red and literally a, a critic said something about like unabashedly horny was in the critic review like a blurb when they reacted to the movie and uh everyone jumped on it oh my god dare this person is a furry uh, who loves kids and how oh, we should be calling the fbi on them i can't believe it. disgusting no <laughs> the movie is unabashedly horny it's about middle school girls going through hormones going through puberty obsessed with like boy bands yeah. and i got so frustrated seeing the coverage out there of uh, bound in comics is the one who founded and wrote it in a way that triggered all and then all these youtube ragers these journalists are all slow news day they they're like oh, talk yep, about the movie. Th these kids might, we must disney oh perfect they're encouraging horny like oh my god it's so infuriating so be careful Disney's with your sources your kids. i'm over the rage bait Cancel criticize me trash. all you want it's enough it's lazy i don't know why so many of you are watching it so much aren't you getting bored of having to yeah. count the skin tones in your movies and Just jody's right it, it is cancel movie. culture they go after these journalists they take one quote out of context and they're trying to cancel those guys and then they complain the next day they're trying to cancel me for criticizing me well make up your mind buddy all right either criticism is all fair game even if you take people out of context or whatever else or you hate cancel culture and you, and you want to stop it. M make up your mind. Uh, I want to give you each final word so you can support Vito, too, where he's doing a lot more cool coverage and uh, calling people out when he needs to. Uh, check out <laughs> Vito and Vito, too, on YouTube. Final words from you, Vito? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting with these guys because uh, I just don't agree with what they're doing. I think their movie critiques are shallow, superficial. They only talk about identity politics, wokeness, too many black people in my Batman. And uh, it's frankly becoming absurd. I get the same backlash from people. They go, you don't understand the Hollywood agenda is there and they're trying to, you know, they're all criminals and perverts. And I go, you guys, 
I think I can handle a black elf in my Lord of the Rings. Yeah, There's plenty of ways to explain that character and whatever else. Oh my uh, God, Vito, you just <laughs> just wrecked him in your thumbnail. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, this guy. I mean, he's, God damn. That damn. back. If you look damn, up his early, Vito. <laughs> if you look up his early videos, this is a weird gremlin of a human being. Uh, not that I look much better, but. Uh, he's definitely been hitting the gym lately. Before, he used to be a very weird-looking dude. He's still a weird-looking <laughs> dude. Weird Get this guy dude. some eyebrows, for the love of God. <laughs> anyway, Jody. Take Jody, go ahead. Check out Jody's Corner. Uh, Jody, you get the final word on this. <laughs> Thank you, man. Jody's Corner, man. I'm, I'm willfully choosing to be shadow banned by YouTube in order to say how I feel and speak the truth. It's, yes. Uh, Beautiful. It's, 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 I've seen his video, Ken, Vito's video on his channel. Can you still make it in 2022 as a YouTuber? Well, you better PC the shit up. Otherwise, no. That's but, a good uh, point. I have a great community that supports me, so I'm good and I'm able to do these things. But um, this kennel dude, um, I absolutely 100% believe he's racist. I 100% believe that Jeremy of Geeks of Gamers is not racist. And I believe there's a nice size chunk in the Geeks of Gamers community that are racist as well. I believe that if this uh, use Q-tip ever said, I love black people on one of his videos, I believe half his subscribers would unsubscribe and he would no longer get super chats. And that should prove <laughs> a lot to you right there. So uh, I hate cancel culture, man. Do I want this fool canceled? No, because, man, everybody has a right to get their money. Even if he's a racist, I still feel like I don't want to hurt your pockets. Do your racist shit. Just let. Just don't hide it. Or you stop know. being racist. Maybe <laughs> or try to work on try. it. <laughs> maybe, maybe go. You know what? Stop. How about really this? Stop saying flag. racist things. Or when someone's like, yeah. you know what? That's an insensitive, ignorant thing you're saying. Maybe like pause and you know consider it. Have a conversation about it. No, we can't. No, and instead, maybe when you lean find in because arguing. exactly like you yeah. said, Jody, the audience is gonna love it. They're gonna thrive. Oh my God, we're being canceled. They're trying to shut us down. Oh my God, and I don't want to do that at all. No one go shut him down, or harass him. We're just here to talk about it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, a very, very frustrating story indeed. But there you go. If you've been wondering why I've been doing movie content less, that's why. Just become a, a little less fulfilling. I like covering what I'm covering. So if you like what we're covering here, subscribe to those gentlemen. But also subscribe here. Hit the bell for all alerts. Smash yes. that like button and uh, leave a comment down below. Jody, we need to do another After Hours stream. We do it still from time to time once a month. Oh, yeah. Gotta uh, we're going to schedule it. So if you haven't already, make sure you join. You're not going to want to miss it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more Thanks, here guys. on Popcorn Planet.